Hi, this is Alan. I'm going to be talking about uh, total O2 content and how we calculate it using the total O2 content formula. Our total O2 content formula is made up of two parts because that is how oxygen is transported in the body. Um, the majority of the oxygen is transported by the hemoglobin molecule and the uh, other part is of oxygen transport is completed by uh, being dissolved in the plasma. We look at our formula, we got hemoglobin times 1.34 times our saturation. Each hemoglobin molecule is able to carry about 1.34 grams of oxygen times the saturation of the actual hemoglobin molecule. And then the second part is what is dissolved in the plasma. We would need to get an ABG and a CBC to get the PaO2 and the hemoglobin count and the saturation. So we do need to have some lab work done to be able to get this CaO2 or total O2 content. But first part, let's just say our patient has a hemoglobin count of, um, let's say 14 times 1.34 times a saturation of 90% plus a PaO2 of 60 millimeters of mercury times 0.003. At this point, we'd have to take our calculator out and just do the math. 14 times 1.34 times 0.9 equals 16.88. Clear that. Now we're going to do the second part, 60 times 0 0.003. And now what we're calculating is the part that is dissolved in the plasma. And that equals 0.18. Again, what we're doing here is this portion here is what's combined with the hemoglobin and this portion here is dissolved in the plasma. When I add the two together I come up with 17.06 balls per cent. Normal CaO2 is going to run anywhere between 15 to 20 vols percent, depending on what uh, resources you use. Some resources are going to tell you 16 to 20, 17 to 20 vols percent, but you're very very safe to actually say between 17 to 20 vols percent. It's actually not 20; it's about like 19.9. But again, what we're looking for is uh, is there enough oxygen carrying capacity in the arterial blood? to adequately oxygenate the tissue. If we have an inadequate hemoglobin level, then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and give our patient some iron or possibly blood so he can get this hemoglobin level up. We can also see by our arterial blood gas, we can check our PaO2 and our SaO2 uh, because we might need to give supplemental oxygen. And based on that, we can get our total O2 content. And if our o total O2 content is within the acceptable limit, then we are doing what we need to do with regards to oxygenating our blood to get enough oxygen to the tissue. Um, one of the things that we'll be looking at the CaO2 um, about is uh, in reference to cardiac output. Uh, we're going to be looking at the CvO2. And when the difference between the CaO2 and the CvO2 start to widen, we can assume that there might be a cardiac output problem. And we'll see that on subsequent um, tapings. Thank you.